All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about the types of computer networks, and we're gonna talk about them from the perspective of their size, starting with the smallest type, which is the personal area network, and then ending with the largest type, which is the wide area network. Now, before we start talking about personal area networks, one thing that I do wanna mention is that it's very common for people just to mention the acronym. So for a local area network, you're gonna hear LAN, for a wide area network, you're gonna hear WAN. So just so you're aware, if you hear what those acronyms are, that's what they're referring to. So let's go ahead and let's kick things off talking about the personal area network or the PAN. This is the smallest type of a network that we can create and they're typically considered an ultra small network and they're used for personal use to share data from one device to another. And they have some simple examples here. So for example, if we want to transfer photos from our iPhone over to our laptop, well, we could connect these two devices together via Bluetooth and transfer that data over. Another example would be a smartwatch. So if we had our iPhone and we had an iWatch and we wanted to allow the data to communicate from the iWatch over to the iPhone, again, they connect via Bluetooth. Another example is hands-free calling in your car. So when you set up your phone, for your car to do hands-free calling, you are usually connecting via either USB or via Bluetooth. And then lastly, when we talk about all of these smart devices for monitoring our health, such as our heart rate monitors that go around our chest, or they are on our watch like an iPhone, and they go on our wrist or anything else, and they connect to a smartphone or to your desktop or to a tablet or whatever, that's an example of a personal area network. So that's a PAN or a personal area network. Now moving up to the next largest in size, we have the most common one that you're probably familiar with is the local area network or commonly referred to as LAN. Now, when we talk about a LAN, the sizes can vary from one to the other. So it could be a network that's in a single room, such as a classroom or a lab. It could be your entire house for your home network, which I have an example here on the screen. So for example, we have a wireless router that connects to a desktop and a network printer via cable. And then we have our laptop that connects via Wi-Fi and our tablet or smartphone that connects via Wi-Fi. That's an example of a LAN. And a LAN could actually be multiple buildings, but typically it's going to be one building, maybe a few rooms, maybe a handful of rooms or even a single room. But again, these are very generic terms, so it's not gonna be universal where you say, a LAN only refers to a single room. I just want you to understand that. Now, moving forward, if we have a local area network that is completely wireless, where we're connecting to a wireless access point, or what a lot of you refer to as a wireless router, which is really a Soho device, which we'll talk about later in the course, that is a wireless LAN. So we are connecting, to our wireless access point with a cable, but from there on out, everything is wireless. So in our home, if we have a smart TV, if we have our Xbox, we have a laptop, a tablet, or a phone, and they all connect wirelessly, well, that's a wireless network or a wireless local area network or WLAN. Moving up in size, we then get to what's considered a campus area network. And just like its name implies, well, it deals with networks for a campus. It could be a school campus, it could be a business campus, such as maybe Facebook or Google or some other large company has three, four or five buildings all together on a site that they own. That would be a campus area network. And then we can move up even one size further to a metropolitan area network. And this deals with, well, like its name implies, a large metropolitan area such as a city or a downtown area. And if you think about that, that's going to be multiple different buildings and different ISPs connecting together for that entire city. And then lastly, kind of a catch-all is the wide area network. Now the wide area network, if we think about what we've already talked about, a metropolitan area network and a campus area network are both examples or could be examples of a wide area network. But a wide area network really is, if we think about the potentially the largest type of a network, that's what a wide area network is. So it's a computer network that expands over a large geographical distance, typically multiple cities and potentially multiple countries. So for example, if we have Google, 
or Facebook or Yahoo or, or whomever, a very large company, if they have a site in California, a site in Texas, one in Montana, one in Virginia, and they connect and communicate with one another, that's a wide area network. Now, the perfect example of a wide area network that we all use is the internet. The internet is nothing more than a wide area network. So that are multiple different types of computer networks. In summer, we talked about the personal network, which is the smallest, and we went to the local area network. Then we talked about the wireless local area network, and then we jumped into our wide area network types, which would be a campus area network and a metropolitan area network, and then we just mentioned wide area network. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.